Hello everyone, it is Jazz here. Today I'm going to be chatting about five reasons why I love to reread books. So I have noticed over the past few months that a lot of people have been bringing up rereading in their videos and so I thought I would make a video about my thoughts on it just to kind of add to the discussion. I personally really do enjoy rereading and I've actually been rereading quite a bit this year partially because of the booktube rereadathon and partially just because I enjoy it. So here is a list of five reasons why I personally enjoy rereading books. So my first reason on this list is probably one that's really specific to a person that is a booktuber or a book blogger and it's the fact that it's really nice to reread books that you have enjoyed and be able to review them because if you read them several, several years ago before you started your booktube channel or your book blog, you didn't get to review them for people and tell your thoughts on them. And so it's really nice to reread those books and be able to share your thoughts on them and even have some like new thoughts that you maybe didn't have before when you read the book the first time. So it's actually like even a better iteration of your thoughts on that book. The second one is actually one of my favorite things about rereading and it's that I can really see how I've changed as a reader from my rereading experience. I've noticed that because I read a lot of books that were geared towards adults when I was a teenager and maybe even younger than a teenager, I maybe didn't like catch all the, like the things that were involved in those stories and the emotions tied to them. I just wanted to read like a good story. So as I reread books as an adult, I really do see new elements. I have even seen with young adult and children's literature that I end up rereading new elements and layers that you just don't see as a kid that the author did put in there. And it's really interesting to me to just see how you've grown as a reader in terms of your analyzation and things like that and how your personal experiences can feed into your thoughts on the book uh, over time. Number three kind of feeds into what I previously said and it's the fact that you can catch things that you didn't catch before. I feel like a lot of times when you read a book the first time you're really trying to figure out what is going on, what is happening, and you're kind of going for those nuggets of information. And when you reread a book, you already know the path of the book to a certain extent. So it leaves room for you to really analyze things like the quality of the writing, what the author is really trying to express with the story. Uh, sometimes you'll catch jokes or something that you didn't catch before, or by the time you've reread the book, you have maybe read another book on a subject that is mentioned or seen something that is mentioned in the book, and then you get the reference, whereas before the reference was kind of up in the air and you didn't understand it. So you can always add something new to your reread in terms of catching little, small, intricate elements. Another thing that can kind of help you in that aspect of catching new elements is that you get to re-remember what you forgot the first time you read it. <laughs> Number four is maybe something that's just specific to me, but when I read books, I really enjoy books where I feel like the characters are my friend. I'm not somebody that reads books and like places myself in the story. I know there are a lot of people that do that, but I'm somebody that kind of likes to feel like I'm befriending the characters in the story or discovering like maybe like I'm the character psychologist in the story or something like that. So I really enjoy that element of reading and I love rereading because you can always go back and visit those characters. That is one reason why I love to reread because I just like visiting with my fictional friends because it can be super super fun. The fifth thing is kind of tied in with visiting my fictional friends and it's the fact that I find rereading really comforting and satisfying, if it's not comforting, it's definitely a satisfying experience. And that is because when you kind of know what a book is going to do for you emotionally, you really do pick up that book for that feeling over and over again. So I have very specific books that I know are going to like pick me up when I'm down or really feed my need for a fantastical kind of book or feed my need for a quirky romance or just if I'm in a like dark character mood, I'm gonna read these specific books. So 
I think that that can be a really satisfying feeling whether these books make you feel very comforted and safe and happy or whether those books make you feel like I just want to read satisfyingly beautiful writing over again. It's a very nice experience for me personally and just revisiting the things that I enjoy about a specific book and the feelings those give me. For example, if I'm having a bummer of a day slash month, I'm probably going to be rereading Anne of Green Gables for like the millionth time. Okay, I haven't read it a million times, but I've read it quite a few times because it gives me joy. Those were five reasons why I love rereading books. I feel like I may have snuck in more than five reasons in there, but you know, at least we have reasons. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter how many <laughs> it is. And that is it for today, my fabulous people. I will see you all soon. Bye!